In order to add the polynomials, here are the three terms, we need to find the common denominator, which is called CD. Common denominator is a term that would actually covers all the terms on the bottom here. There's a, a minus 5 over here and a plus 7 here, so obviously I need a minus 5 and plus 7 to cover every one of them. This is 1, so this 1 actually needed both of them. Okay, so let's get started. Basically, we're going to time get each term, uh, the denominator of each term, turn it into this one. So for the first term, what we're looking for or we're missing is this term, x plus 7. We're missing this term on the bottom. So we're going to multiply that one. And what, what I have then is x plus 7. Okay, that's the first term. And then we're going to have a big long line. I'm not going to write this one um, for each one of them because they'll be the same. Okay, as a matter of fact, you can do this on a test to save you some time. The second one is the one that doesn't have any of them. So actually, what I needed then is both of the terms, x minus 5 and x plus 7. Okay. Now the last term, I have both of them, so all I have is minus 22. Okay, from here, vast majority of the work is done, so now we just have to clean up. Let's just take the top here. x plus 7, and then that's for one of them, plus 2x, let's multiply this one out. If you do the under belly lines and over the hat lines, you'll see this becomes x squared minus um, plus 7 and minus 5, so I have a plus 2x minus 35. Now if you don't see this, you can pause the button here and then go back and re-foil re, um, it out. You'll see it's exactly the same as what I got here. And let's go on here, x plus 7 plus, now this time 2x has to go into each one of them. So I have a 2x cubed plus 4x squared minus 70x minus 22. Okay, now let's gather our terms. This one, 2x cubed. Okay, that, the reason I crossed it out is so I know how i uh, bookkeeping it. This one is all by itself, 4x squared. And this one have a minus 70x, and I have here, so I have a minus 69x. Okay, this is taken care of. And I have plus 7 and minus uh, 22 there, so I have a minus uh, uh, 15. That's the top. So from the previous one, um, although we're done here, this one is really equal to 2x cubed plus 4x squared minus 69x minus 15. All of this divided by the common denominator, which is x plus 7, divided by x minus 5. All right. Hope this helps, and have a confident day.